Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new series on the channel. My name is Jarl Chris, and this is Skyrim, but I'm a hunter. So this is going to be a Skyrim Hunter roleplay playthrough, where I am a hunter. I'm going to start off as a lowly small game hunter, and I would hopefully like to eventually become a big game hunter and maybe one day a monster hunter. The goal of this right now is probably to just go hunt some animals, get some money, and maybe we can buy ourselves a homestead and a trophy room. And then the goal would be to fill out our trophy room. If you guys are interested in something like this, oh wait, there's a rabbit right there. We have our first game that we can potentially hunt. So let's see if we can stalk this rabbit. But as I was saying, if you are interested in something like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope to upload this three times a week until its end. Ooh, we have two rabbits to choose from. Hopefully they'll stand still. And we have a hunter running towards us. But we bagged our first rabbit. Who's this? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. What? Um No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. I I don't mean to get killed here, man. All right, um, seems he's running away from someone. Oh, there's a, who's this? Did you see it's a fellow hunter. Past just now. <clears throat> I presume this steel warhammer of dismay belongs to you? Yes. How did you get this? Uh, uh, never mind. Here, it's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. <laughs> That's none of my business. I trust that this hunter can take care of himself. Oh my. Well, it's always nice to help a fellow hunter out. Now let's see if we can find that rabbit I bagged. Here he is. Alright, we're going to field dress this guy and get all of his stuff. I am using mods like Hunterborn. I'm also using Frostfall and I Need. Alright, well that's the rabbit. So, we got a little bit of game today, but I would hope to find a deer or something so there's actually anything worth selling. So, I wonder if we can find that over here. The Falkreath Hold is a great place to go hunting this time of year, honestly. Ripe with game. Not too hot, not too cold. Where should we head to? Somewhere up here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just walk around over here. Always looking to pick ingredients as well. This is going to be more of a hunter-gatherer playthrough. I hope that one day... I Ooh, there's another rabbit. Let's see if we can bag this guy too. Rabbits take some serious skill to hit. Sometimes it's not worth wasting your arrows. And at any point where I may pick up my quest journal, you will see that we have started this main quest, but we are going to mostly ignore that. And when I say mostly, I mean we are going to totally ignore that. It has no place here. Ooh, I'm very cold. That's not good. Maybe we should get away from the snowy region. Or I should put on my cloak if I haven't already. No, I already have it on. Ooh. Coverage and warmth. Why does it say I'm not warm? Do I have to, like, take it off? Oh, yes. I have to re-equip everything. There we go. Now we should be a bit warmer. <clears throat> I was wondering why I was getting so... Ooh, what's this we have here? It would seem that there's a... Bandits. I want nothing to do with those guys. I'm just a... 
measly hunter, I can't take on a whole group of bandits on my own, that's for sure. What time is it? It's noon. Ooh, what's over here? Seems we have an old hunter's camp. Take that woodcutter's axe, since it's not stealing. Maybe warm up by the fire. That's much better. It's always nice to find spots like this where I can warm up. Oh, wow. Right up there's a deer. Let's see if we can bag this guy. That'd be a score. Ooh, an elk. Oh, I missed the second shot. Seems we have to pursue this guy. Is that him right there? Nope, that's another one. But we got him. Seems the other one's getting away. Oh well. At least we got one, right? Can't do that when enemies are nearby. Who's the enemy? I can wait. Please don't tell me it's this other deer. I see no enemies. There's a couple more elk, but I don't want to kill two. Oh, maybe it's this wolf. I don't want to be greedy. Well, it seems like he's going away. So maybe now we can check out our new kill. I'm going to field dress him. And then skin his pelt. Man, this does take a while. I'm so starving and thirsty now. Maybe have a clam chowder and a drink of water. Finished harvesting this elk. Probably head into Riverwood afterwards. Or maybe I'll spend the night out at that camp. What time is it? Five? Maybe we'll check out what this other camp is down here. That other elk is still running around. There's this one too. Ooh, he's not happy with me. I mean, he's got quite the... Quite the rack on him. Alright. Maybe... Oh, he would be very heavy, wouldn't he? Pick him up. Oh yeah, some over-encumbered. Let's see if I can get him over into this camp over here. I'm sure whoever lives there wouldn't mind. Oh, but we have a wolf that we need to take care of first. Seems I'm just bagging all sorts of game. What's over there? Probably just another one of those wolves. Alright. Well, I'm gonna leave this guy alone for right now. Make sure I don't get attacked by his friend up there. Here we are. Make sure to drop my big elk male carcass. Weighs a whopping 300 pounds. I just dragged them from over there. Maybe we should check out this beehive. There's some ingredients in there. Pluck some of the bees out of the air. You know I sell those. And, ooh, there's some potion of minor healing. I mean, this camp does seem mostly abandoned, so I doubt the person here would mind. Alright, let's go to town on this elk. I'll see you when he's all carved up. It's very late at night now, so probably going to rest and in the morning head into town. We do have quite a bit to sell. Sadly, I ruined the pelt off of that last big guy. But we do have some animal bones and the stuff to sell. How much meat? We also have 14 venison to sell. So, and some rabbit. But tonight, we need to eat. Categorize this consumable for I need... This is food. What would you say a fish is? Probably medium. No. Alright. 
some cooked pog fish. Nope, same thing. Eat that brook bass, and then get some water in us. And then go to sleep by the fire. I will leave this chest alone though, because I don't know whose that is. Sleep until early morning, and then we'll head on our way to Riverwood. Oh no. It's not a very nice day out. But we do have to get to town. But I hope I don't die. Well, we should be okay. Oh no, what was that? Why is there a bear trap just outside of this place? It's like they're trying to kill me. Make sure to harvest all of these ingredients on the way. Ooh, here's another rabbit and a person in the road. Miss the rabbit. They are some sneaky guys. Be careful. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't even aiming for you, sir. Oh no, there's a pack of wolves up there. I don't want to get involved in this. Plus, we are getting very cold. Can we duck in here or something? No. No, it's locked. I don't want to break into anybody's house. Maybe I should just pitch my tent. But I don't want to do that. Where are we? Oh. Here we are. I hope... Wow, everybody just wants to kill us today. Let's get out of here. Falkreath's over here. Maybe we can find refuge over there. They're crazy. They're trying to kill me. Hopefully the folk and fall creeth are a little nicer. Yes, I would imagine I am getting wet. What's this? Some sort of wagon wreck? Attunement crystal. Oh, I would imagine this is some sort of creation club. Now, I don't want anything to do with weird, strange crystals, but I will take the good loot, because I can always sell that. Besides, I don't have the time to sit here and read. This weather will kill me. Luckily, here's the gate down there. And it's not raining. That's always nice. The quaint city of Falkreath. It's an alright place. Provincials like you wander Skyrim. I'm just hunting, man. Staying I don't want any trouble. I guess we should head to the inn and warm up first of all. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. That's good. I need all of them. Most importantly, I need the warm up by the fire. It was getting pretty cold out there. It seems we're warmed up and dry now. Eggs out of this. Maybe... Is there anywhere I can cook up some of my food? Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. I wonder who that is. I hope... I wish them luck. Alright, there's nothing back here that I can cook Welcome on. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. First, let's get a refill our water skins. Thank you. Let's save Sell that some appetite. of that meat. Mm -hmm. Seeing as though I have so much of it, sadly we only get one gold piece, but it's what we gotta sell. We can sell this rabbit. And that seems to be it. Sell some cabbages. Although I want to keep a couple of them for myself. And I seem to be running out of my own food. Hopefully I can go cook some. That's why I saved a piece of elk. But that's all she wants. 
Okay. I'm not much of a gossiper myself. I just stick to the woods. Go over to the general goods store and see what they want to buy off of me. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Alright, thank you for being nicer than some of the other Nords in this town. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. You mentioned your brother. Who is he? His name's Bolin. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking. Especially with folk he don't know. So he was the one that berated me when I walked in the town. That's nice. Take a look. At least you have more hospitality than him, I guess. He'll buy our animal fat, which is nice. Elk hides. We don't need that. The large bones. Ruined pelt. We got no use for that either. And this is what we're really looking for. A superb animal bone is worth 16 gold. And it seems we can sell him our ingredients. It's a pretty decent haul. It seems we made around 200 gold today. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Trust me, I did not plan on it. Do you have somewhere I can cook food up here? No. That's a bummer. I know in Riverwood... Or no, is there a place in Riverwood to cook your food? I don't believe so, actually. Anyways, I do have a little bit of food left. Cooked beef. Oh yes, in Lucan's you can cook your food. I guess I should drink up too. And I have nothing else to do but head on my way. I'll walk out of town this way and loop around and head to Riverwood. Maybe we can bag some game on the way there. Make sure to pick all of this stuff. It's a beautiful day now that the thunderstorm has stopped. Let's hope this road is a little more hospitable than the other one. Seemed like every turn there was somebody trying to kill us. I don't know why, I'm just a lowly hunter. I mean nobody any harm. But, oh well. There's nothing else I can do about it. I'm not a fighter, I can't kill them. I just want to be left to pick my flowers and shoot my deer. I wonder what's up here. Seems we have a little offshoot from the road. Maybe there's some wild game up here. No, but there is mushrooms. Mushrooms usually s fetch a pretty penny at the market stalls. Oh, look at that beautiful morning sun. Oh, there's a camp of some sorts. It seems abandoned. The fire is cold. I don't know anybody who would leave their camp up here like this. Oh, there's a journal. First, we have a sneak book. Interesting. That should help us. Hunter's Journal. Track down a small den of bears today. Their pelts are in fine condition and should fetch a good price. Going to set up camp for the night and kill the beasts in the morning. Hopefully we can get by on the few arrows we have left, or I may have to fall back on my blade. Don't fall back on your blade. That would probably hurt. Well, I guess this does belong to somebody as their journal was here, but they did say there was a bear den. Maybe we can go help them. I wonder where it would be. Maybe up here somewhere, right? In all honesty, I never knew of this place. Oh, there's a den. Oh, there's multiple bears. With one, maybe I could take them, but two? There's not a chance. Where are the hunters? Oh, no. That's them right there. They're dead. I fear I would have no better luck than them right now fighting those cave bears. I know my job is to be a hunter, but two bears on my own? I'm not strong enough for that. Maybe one day. Maybe I'll come back here. Should I? I should place my marker here. Remember them. 
Well, I guess they won't be needing this anymore, though. Have a ring that should fetch a pretty penny. Up here, I guess I'll set the marker. Alright. Poor hunters. They're just like me, maybe a little more ambitious. At least I know my... I know my limits. One day, one day I'll be able to walk into a den of bears. But today's not that day. I know it's disappointing, but... There's nothing else I could do. Ooh, we have a um, little pond down here. An ominous looking door. I want nothing to do with that either. Strange, man. Skyrim's full of dangerous places. I would hope to get to Riverwood by the end of this video. Am I following the correct road? Yes, I am. Some ruin over here. Ah, oh, there's a dead body outside of it. Yet again, something I don't... I don't mess with. Who's this in the road? A Nord? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. I, I'm sorry to offend you, woman. I mean no harm. I guess I'll just move on my way. Everybody's so hostile in this neck of the woods. I don't know what to do. I'm just a poor guy. Ah, who's this? A Khajiit? Maik wishes you well. I wish you well as too, Maik. Don't try blocking if you have two weapons. You will only get confused. Much better to hit twice anyway. I'll take that advice. He does have a nice pelt on him. It would be a shame. Uh, I guess Khajiit are still somewhat people. Ooh, we have a rabbit. I know it's just a small game, but every little bit would help. And a bird's nest. We can take that egg. That would fall under the gathering category, I guess. The rabbit got away from me, sadly. What's this location? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Watchtower. Maybe this is also a new anniversary edition. Falkreath Watchtower. Who's in... Oh, no. Oh, Necromancer. That is not my cup of tea. Let me tell you that. Oh, but this wolf is. Ooh, there's a pack of them. Got the first one. Second one doesn't even seem to notice. Did we get him too? Yes. That's a good score there. I will pick up one of them and field dress the other one. Ooh, where's the first one go? Can't seem to find him. I was standing right up here. Ah, there he is. I'll pick this one up. And manually field dress this one. We'll finish the other one off in Riverwood. We did get some good supplies off of that wolf. Nothing too crazy. I kind of messed up the pelt a little, but still should be good enough to fetch a price at the merchant. I don't think I would shoot this fox here. Seems a little... Oh no, I took the wrong turn at the roads. That's a bummer. Those wolves got me sidetracked as, long, as well as the watchtower. You know what? What time in the day is it? Two? I mean, I could make it to Riverwood by the end of the day, but do I really want to? By the time I get there, it will be late. There's all sorts of creepy things going on. I'm trying to just avoid dying at this point, really. 
Maybe I'll go out onto that island and set up camp, but I would have to get wet. So I'll probably hold off on that. Set up my camp right here for the day. Maybe I can bag some game. Use this. Where should I set my tent? Right here, maybe? That seems like a decent place. There would be no good camp without a campfire, right guys? Make sure to choose the realistic option. This is supposed to be a realistic role play. And now I must go harvest some wood. Make sure to favorite that. Go over here and since I found that woodcutter's axe, I can chop the dead wood. It's much easier this way. Do it once more. Takes about half an hour. I know I'm hungry, but I guess I should eat and drink before I do anything else. All I have left is cabbages though. Not much to eat. Let's use this. Building campfires. Campfires are created by combining three things, fuel, tinder, and a spark. Select build fire, add fuel. You can start you can use branches, kindling, or ruined books as starting fuel. Guess I'll make some kindling out of my dead wood and some wood shavings. So I need more of that, and then I can build my fire. Next, select build fire, add tinder. Tinder is used to catch a spark in order to ignite your fuel. Many different items can be used as tinder. Each add tinder recipe shows the qualities of tinder. The higher the quality, the faster your campfire can be lit. The tinder you choose is what determines how long it will take to light your fire. Ooh, I can use my animal fat. Good quality tinder, easy to light under current weather conditions. Not as good. And the worst. So I guess I'll use the animal fat. You can light your fire by striking a stone or by using magic. If you move or get hit, the lighting process is cancelled and your tinder will be lost. I guess I'll just strike it. You have created a fragile fire that will only last for one hour. Well done. You can now add more fuel to increase the warmth and duration of your campfire. Select flickering, crackling, or roaring campfire recipes to view their required materials. Larger campfires can be used to cook food and grant bonuses. I guess we'd want to get this guy roaring, right? First we have to build a flickering campfire, so I guess I should go collect some branches. That should only take me half an hour. So my fire should still be going when I finish. Yes, it is. That's lucky. Use it. Create a flickering campfire. Crackling requires firewood. I guess I'll go collect more firewood. Chop the dead wood. Oh, does Deadwood not act as firewood? No, it doesn't for some reason. That's odd. So I need actual firewood. That's a disappointment, if I'm being honest. I have not much to feed the fire with. You would think Deadwood would qualify. I guess I'll create this. Oh, wait, I can make a crackling campfire with Deadwood. I can, never mind, I was wrong. That's not surprising, and I can make a roaring campfire with it. This will last 12 hours. And lastly, we should cook up our elk steak. And maybe this wolf haunch. Make sure to eat those. Drink a little bit of water. And I guess we will just sit by the campfire. I mean, what time is it? It's late in the day. I'll just hang out here until the next day and then head to Riverwood. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.
Hello everybody, my name is Jarl Chris, and you just finished watching one of my videos. Obviously, if you made it this far, you probably enjoyed it, so if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. Leave a comment down below if you have any advice for me, or if you want to see something else and you need to tell me. Other than that, hope you have a nice rest of your day. See you again. Bye-bye.